hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel i missed you so much guys i hope you are well if you didn't know if you're new to this channel my name is megs i do cooking and lifestyle content so i have been on a break like about a two weeks break but i have been posting some shows i mean i miss just speaking to you like this guys so i hope you are well so in today's video guys i want to cook with you some delicious oatmeal breakfast and some delicious coffee if you have been watching my shots my short videos you've seen that i've been obsessed this is actually my coffee season I've, i'm actually obsessed with some coffee these days so i want to show you some some delicious coffee one of the delicious coffee that i have been making for myself if you don't like oats today i'm going to change your mind because the oats that we are going to cook today are going to be so yummy even the coffee if you don't like coffee well you have been missing us so i hope you're going to enjoy this video if you do please give this video a thumbs up and if you like the content you can as well subscribe you can also share this video with your friends and family so let's get right into it this video is going to be very very raw <laughs> yeah so unfortunately you'll be seeing you won't be seeing much of my face you'll be just seeing me doing the cooking and yeah, I hope you're going to enjoy it. So firstly, let's uh, let's start with the oats, oatmeal. So I'm using this Django Oat, Django, this brand here. There are oats, original uh, original oats. They are actually 100% whole grain, pure oats. Yeah, if you didn't know, oats are high in energy, high in fiber, helps lower cholesterol. Have, these ones have low GI and they help you to be fuller for longer so yeah you can actually use any oats that you can get as long as they are 100% whole grain pure oats so I'm just going to use this oats so firstly I'm going to measure my oats this is going to be for for just me this is just for a one portion so i'm going to use this uh, cup this mug here this it's a small mug that i'm going to just measure one full mug okay Sorry for the shakes, shakes, because my camera is on my chest. So if you see any awkward movement, that means the camera is on me. So I've measured one cup and I'm going to pour it in, in my saucepan. I'm using the saucepan. Then I'm going to add some, some salt. About half a teaspoon of salt like that then i'm going to add add some hot water hot water so oh, for the hot water i'm just using this mug the small mug that i used for the oats so i'm going to measure uh measure two cups of of hot water like this and add another one then for the third uh, third one i'm going to use some milk so i'm just going to put some, some half a mug milk then i'm going to dilute it with some water this is half half a mug if you want more milk you can just put a full mug of milk but for me at the moment i'm just putting half a mug then i'm going to get it full with some hot water like this so the proportion is one cup of oats and three cups of hot water so i substituted the water 
on this one with some a little bit of milk so I'm going to add it in my saucepan like this then we are going to cook this right here we are going to cook the oats on medium heat and stir them like this until they are nice and well cooked so you need to always check on the oats so that um when you don't check on them they, they start to boil and they start to over boil they start to mess up your stove so you need to always check on the oats and stir them like this so once these oats are cooking i'm just going to make the coffee in the meantime for the coffee i'm using this coffee from next calf classic it's black rose soluble coffee so that's the one that i'm using so if you're going to try this you need to get a uh, coffee like, this is actually instant coffee as you can see so this method that i'm going to show you it's for instant coffee and i'm using this nescaf classic so if you're going to try this method you can actually look for some good instant coffee if you know what i mean some just good instant coffee you can try this so i'm going to use um i'm going to measure about one teaspoon of coffee in my bowl let's let's say one and a half teaspoons of coffee then i'm going to add also one and a half teaspoon sugar and also add just a little bit just a little bit of some hot water a tablespoon of hot water so guys if you love coffee and you haven't tried this this will take you to another level and if you, you if you don't like coffee you should try this because this is this will make you love coffee so we are going to whisk this we are going to make some fluffy frothy coffee so i'm going to take my my hand mixer then i'm going to Okay, just a second guys we need to check on the oats so you can see the oats are cooking so i need to stir them and also when you're cooking oats never close never put the lid on because ooh, it will overflow you can see that it's boiling and it's expanding so when you close you put the lid on it will start to overflow so you need to always check on the oats and you need to always stay it like this like this <laughs> and making sure that it's not burning underneath so stirring keeps it from burning okay like i said guys this video is raw you can see that i'm doing this and i'm coming back to the oats and that's how we are doing it today just like the normal 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 way so you can see that the co the oats here um have now expanded they are fuller and they are actually cooking well they are becoming creamier okay Okay, let's leave them to cook some more and continue with the coffee 
whisking so So can you see how creamy it's looking? So let me just scrape off the sides of this bowl so that everything can go inside. Okay, so this is how what I mean. So you can actually make this in a, like a big batch and you can actually store it for a few days just scooping the amount that you are just going to use for for the day you can actually make this a big match i'm actually thinking now that i should have just done a big one and i think it would have looked much much more nicer if it if it's bigger i mean if it's a lot of this coffee but i'm sure you, you guys can see what i mean so this is how it's looking nice and creamy it look it's actually it's looking like peanut butter <laughs> but it's coffee okay so let me whisk for the last time okay so guys our whipped coffee is ready it's nice and ready so this is how it should look look how creamy it looks <laughs> okay so yeah let me finish off with the oats and we'll come back to with the plating and yeah the last part of this coffee making so our oats oopsie I need to get this our oats are nice and ready I like my oats thick like this please let me know in the comments if you like the same I love my oats this thick okay they are nice and ready so I'm just going to turn down the heat or turn off the heat and just leave them like this as we prepare for the plating okay guys so i have a banana this is my banana so we are going to use it on our plating because these oats are going to look so good you know those uh, uh the oatmeal that they sell that they serve <laughs> in um in those fancy fancy restaurants that's what we are making today we are going to do it the fancy style even better so i'm just going to cut this banana into small slices like this oh that's actually thicker i want them just nice and thick not too thin but a little bit thicker if you know what I mean okay let me just remove this whole peel of what am I doing okay like this I'm not going to use the whole banana but yeah let me just eat this then i'm going to melt some chocolate i'm going to use this cadbury dairy milk milk chocolate if you like uh if you like dark chocolate you can go for dark chocolate but at the moment i have this milk chocolate so that's what we are using and yeah they say dark chocolate is actually much more healthier than milk chocolate but for now this is what i have yeah and milk chocolate 
tastes nicer for me <laughs> it's not as strong as dark chocolate so i'm going to melt just a little bit of chocolate because i want to dip the banana in the chocolate in the melted chocolate so i'm going to to use this just this small bar i think that's enough and i'm going to melt it okay guys so i've put this in the microwave for about 30 seconds mm, i need to put it again for another 30 seconds for it to melt nicely okay i've melted it again for 30 seconds so it should be ready yeah it is now nice and ready just melted milk chocolate so i'm going to dip the my banana slices in this melted chocolate and put them in here so i'm going to pick one like this and just dip a corner like this and put it on a side plate let me put it here so that it's clear okay Okay, I'm going to do these for about just going to make about 10 slices of these or even less so see okay this okay guys so this is what i have so i'm going to leave these in the fridge for them to set about two minutes two to five minutes yeah now to make the coffee i'm going to make a cafe mocha an iced one so i'm going to put the whipped coffee that we made remember we did whip some coffee so i'm just going to add this hipped hipped teaspoon it's actually a very hipped one <laughs> this hipped teaspoon of our whipped coffee in this glass i'm i'm actually using this uh this latte glass let me this okay oh i forgot a step guys i'm going to add some chocolate <laughs> sorry about that i'm going to add some chocolate in the glass just to smear the chocolate on the sides of the glass like this because this is going to be a mocha a mocha mocha is chocolate and coffee combined so that's what we are doing because everything has some chocolate here <laughs> so i'm just going to smear smear the, smear the glass with some chocolate like this if you like you see here okay i'm sorry if it's looking a little bit messy it looks like this it's looking like this i hope uh where i am right now where i am positioned it has the perfect lighting for you so it's looking like this then i'm going to add some hot chocolate powder just about two heaped teaspoons of hot chocolate powder one two
okay then i'm going to add in some ice cubes i've got the ice cubes here in the glass like so I know we are in winter in South Africa, but if you can agree with me, I think iced coffees are the best. I like hot coffee, but if I am to choose between the two, I think iced coffees are the best. But I'm not saying the hot coffee is not bad, is, is bad at all. I like it. But for this video, we're doing some iced coffee. And I also believe I've got some audience around the world that are not in winter at the moment. They're in summer. So this video can be very perfect for you. So I'm going to add in some milk. I've added some iced uh, coffee. Oh, let me do this. Let me do this so that you guys can see what's really happening. Okay, I think you guys can see I think this is much better i think the visuals are now much better so i'm going to add in some some milk this is now fresh milk in the glass like so then i'm going to take my spoon and mix everything nicely Then I'm going to add in more, some more milk. This is so good. <laughs> this coffee is so good, guys. Okay, then I'm going to add in the, the last of our whipped coffee. So I'm just going to put it on top like this. Yummy, yummy coffee. It's looking so nice and creamy. So I'm just going to add a little bit more milk to the top just to make it look nicer like so then of course a straw so this is our coffee now let's plate the oats the oatmeal so my oats i'm going to save them in this small bowl so like I told you that I like thick oats. These are my oats. I like thick oats. I don't like them runny, runny, runny. I like them this thick. So I'm just going to put them in here. I love oats. Oats are my favorite winter breakfast we are in winter i'm in cape town south africa so we are in winter at the moment so i love to make oats during this time of the year 
and these ones right here the one that I'm showing right here are my favorite so this is my bow then I'm going to take the the chocolate and banana bites so I'm going to add my chocolate and banana bites I've put them in the freezer for just about three minutes here they were sticking so I was trying to remove them but it's fine so I'm just going to layer them nicely I want a nice one I want a nice one I'm going oopsie I'm going to layer them nicely like this I hope everything is looking nice and clear guys because the lighting I don't have a light at the moment so I'm just using natural light so i hope this video is looking nice i hope the lighting is good because sometimes it can be a little bit darker so these are the banana and chocolate bites this can be a snack you can have this as a snack during the day so this is how I'm layering them up next I'm going to I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to eat some chia seeds I've got some nice chia seeds here with with me so I'm going to do that just pull them like nicely chia seeds I'm trying to make it look fancy then last but not least my favorite my favorite part of this oil. okay guys so I had to change the position <laughs> I think this side is nice light in the side here so this is my favorite part some peanut butter this is peanut butter it's not coffee guys i know i know it's looking like the coffee that we've just been whipping but it is this peanut butter let me show you the brand these um this simple truth 100 percent roasted smooth peanut butter no added sugar or salt so this is it so to make it uh, in in this in this bottle it's actually quite thick so to make it nice and running i've just warmed it up in the microwave so it's actually nice and runny like this so i'm just going to add it i'm just going to add it to our plate like so i hope it's going to look nice oopsie <laughs> because this is a design <laughs> we are designing our pl our plate we are decorating okay this is just about a tablespoon of peanut butter There we go.
wow so guys this is the breakfast this is the peanut butter and banana oats with chocolate and chia and chia seeds <laughs> and this is the mocha coffee right here iced mocha iced mocha please let me know what you think about this breakfast would you eat this because i'm going to eat and enjoy it right now guys this is very nutritious and very very filling you get full for a long time with this kind of breakfast so yeah this is how it's looking please give this video a thumbs up if you think this is your kind of jam your kind of breakfast so this is our breakfast and this is how it's looking so guys to sweeten the oats we're going to drizzle some honey this honey on top like so my goodness my goodness okay so this is our sweetener and this is how they look and lastly we need to taste right Yum. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> so yum. So guys i'm going to end this video right here thank you so much for watching if you've enjoyed the video thank you so much please give it a thumbs up and if you like to share the video with your friends and friendly you can go ahead feel free to comment and i'll see you in the next one bye